What's up YouTube, Max Black Strings here. Today I have a review on the STX Hammer lacrosse head. So this is a lacrosse head designed by STX, mainly with the defensive player in mind. Uh, it's got a very wide design. It has the STX forward cant technology as well as the STX C channel technology, uh, which is in the sidewall here to make it uh, lighter. It kind of hollows out the sidewall to make it lighter and a lot more flexible and durable on checks to make the head a lot more durable. Uh, it's got a very, very stiff throat to make it very durable and a wide scoop at the top, which really helps for ground balls. The head weighs 7.5 ounces with mesh. I like to weigh the head with mesh because you're not really going to play with a head without mesh or any type of stringing on it. So just, um, it's a normal weight. Um, it's a little bit heavier than other heads, but it's a defensive head, uh, which usually are a little bit heavier. It is $99 retail, uh, which is pretty expensive for a head. This is a top-of-the-line head, so you can expect that nowadays from heads. They're starting to get more and more expensive. Um, and it comes in a variety of colors, blue, green, black, neon green, orange, red, gray, a bunch of different colors. It's got 13 stringing holes. As you can see, I strung uh, a low pocket in it for a defensive uh, player uh, so they can carry it in their stick and then make those nice across the field passes with three straights. Uh, so it took me maybe one or two tries to get this pocket. Um, there are 13 string uh, saddle holes like I said, but they're a little bit still, a little bit spaced out to where uh, you, um, you can't get the perfect um, bunching for where you want your pocket, which is fine. You can still string a variety of different pockets, high, low, mid pocket, um, and still get a nice uh, channel on it as well, even though it's such a wide head. Um, so for stringing, I'm going to give that a 7.5 um, on how it strings up. I've, it's easier to string other heads, but as far as stringing goes, it's uh, not a big deal and it's easy enough to string up. As far as stiffness goes, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Because it's designed to be one of the stiffest heads on the market as a defensive player, you really want a stiff head so when you lay a check down, it'll uh, definitely dislodge the ball out of the stick so it won't just wrap around the player's arm or um, the, uh, the shaft. Uh, so definitely a very, very stiff head, which uh, benefits the defensive player. As far as face-offs go, I wouldn't recommend this head. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 because of how stiff it is. There are a lot better heads that are uh, more flexible and have the right flex for face-offs. So unless you're a defensive guy where your coach tells you to go in and try and really push the ball out, um, I wouldn't recommend facing off with this head. This head is designed for the defensive player in mind, like I said, so I wouldn't recommend it for an attackman or a midfielder. Um, really the only type of shaft you should be putting this on is a deep hole. So in an LSM or a defensive guy, this is definitely one of the best heads you can pick up. Overall, I'm going to give this head an 8.7 out of 10 because of all the benefits it has for a defensive player. Uh, it's very stiff, so when you check the ball out of someone's stick, you're really going to get a nice check on there. It's very durable. So this will last you a long time. I've known a lot of people who have used this head, and I haven't seen one break. So they're very durable. They do warp a little bit, though. That's why I didn't give it a higher rating. Uh, but other than that, it's a really great head. The price is a little high uh, for the benefits that it gives you, I guess. If this was an extremely amazing head, then the price wouldn't really matter. But the price is a little high, but still a really, really great head. I'd recommend you go check it out. Thanks guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.